name is T. Crowther, and I'm a local artist and DJ. When you have such severe emotions all the time, just constantly inside of you, having an outlet really helps. Um, just like extreme emotions with extreme colors. Big fan. As a kid, uh, my parents let me be creative. My dad's a music teacher, and so I kind of just grew up with art. Um, and <laughs> like, you know, you grow up and you're like taught to color and um, all those kinds of things. And then I just, I loved it so much. Like I was like, this is it. <laughs> I, this is what I want to do with my free time. My whole life, I've been a really big perfectionist. Um, <laughs> as a kid, my kindergarten teacher told my parents, you know, she does the work well, it's just she takes a long time to do it. So, <laughs> so I've had a problem with taking a long time to do things because I need them to be perfect. I don't need it to be perfect, you know? And I like how it looks, and I think that's the most important part. Because that's a really big thing, you know? You have to love your art. If you don't, why do it? So music is a big thing for me and I either sing or play ukulele and then I also have a radio show at the Wolfpack Radio <laughs> uh, called Cloud9 um, where I play music and then also talk about mental health which is very important because not enough people talk about it. Every week I alternate. I do more upbeat songs and then I do more downbeat songs. Um, I would say a lot of it is alternative and indie, um, just because I am a stereotype a little bit. Um, <laughs> what I want people to do is feel. That's my big thing. I want people to feel their emotions because they're valid. A lot of us are taught um, to like hide our emotions, don't feel. Um, if you feel, you're weak. I don't think that's okay. And I think even like with my paintings, you know, I want people to look at it and like feel an emotion and feel like, oh, I know exactly what this means, but you can still get a feeling from it and still relate to it. I have only ever finished, like not finished, completely filled one sketchbook in my entire life. I have one that is specifically from middle school, <laughs> which uh, always fun to look back at your old work and be like, dang, I thought that was good. <laughs> and now you can look back at it and be like, it was not, but good try. <laughs> and I think that's important. Like, don't don't be mean to yourself, you know? Like, you were learning. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be 80 and just start art and be like, you know, it's not great, but I like it. Because it doesn't have to look perfect to be good art. <laughs> I tried oil painting. Wow. <laughs> So, to finish them, I don't think I need to. There are pieces I'm really proud of that I did finish, and I'm like, wow, this feels good. I finally finished something, completed it to the end, and that's a change for me, and I'm proud of myself for doing that. And there's also pieces where I'm like, I started it, I liked where it was going, I messed up a little bit, and then I stopped doing it, but I can still look back at it and be like, I did good, you know? I could do that again and be like, I tried the first time, I tried again, We'll see which one is better. <laughs> I've been through a lot in my life and I've moved around to different countries. I've been to India, I've been to the Middle East. Um, everywhere I went, I had access to art, which is a privilege. Um, and I recognize that and I'm so grateful for it. Just being able to have some light and so much dark, you know, it just, it grounds you. It it's an outlet. It's a healthy outlet. <laughs> you need some consistency and some control in your life, which I have not had a lot of. And having art has been an outlet for me. I recently painted something um, that I gave to my friend. Um, and it was me, my best friends, and her. And I showed her and she cried. And um, she was like, I haven't been feeling beautiful, but you made me look beautiful. That, that really, that hit me hard um, because she is such a beautiful person. 
And just being able to make someone feel good with the work that I do is a huge blessing. I feel like, you, you know, you can take a picture of someone and like it's there forever, but it's different when you put like the time and the effort into making someone look like themselves. It's more personal when someone sat down, drew them out, and then mixed their colors together. So I just, I love people. <laughs>